So Mark Durbin-Smith was explaining earlier ahead of Scotland and the USA, our next match here on ITV. Bagpipes are banned inside Rugby World Cup stadiums. Kefu, Cooper. Run around with McMahon. This is Mitchell. Australia constantly using that forward runner to give the ball back to Quade Cooper, which allows him to create the space. But plenty of company. It's Kirtley Beal, it's Matt Tamour. It's another Australian try. Brilliant decision-making from Kirtley Beal at the end again. It all comes from the team philosophy that if we run a forward, run a hard, and then he pulls it back. Quade Cooper gets the ball with space on the outside, and then they're making yardage. Good leg drive, they're in behind. Exactly the same again. Forwards look like they're carrying up. Pop the ball out the back to Quade Cooper. He uses his dancing feet. He's aware of his support. Lovely ball to Kirtley Beal. And when he thought Kirtley Beal might try and throw the long pass to the winger, he hears the call from Tamua and just drops the ball nice and easily off his shoulder. And that's exactly the score of rugby that Michael Checker wants to see his team playing. Ten tries now. And there may be a few slightly easier pickings for Australia in these final few minutes. contact off the tee. He's had plenty of practice, but he's not getting any better, is he? It's really frustrating, Quade Cooper. This is what he is exceptional at. Constantly scanning the defence. That spatial awareness of where all his support is. 